stream and today I will be making a video on how I record my screen just like this. So the first thing you're going to need is we're going to leave my little fish app is to go to your play store hit search and type in MobiZen. Now you're going to click on the first one that comes up and this, it should look like this it's got pretty good ratings uh, so there so you can just open that and it'll take you so if you come in open this, it'll take you to this uh, I'm going to block out the email because uh, by accident I, I used the wrong email but anyway this little button here, so as you can see, if I move this, if you see this little three lines here, that's basically, you click on it and it can take you to your list of recordings. And here's a small sneak peek of future stuff that Mississippi and I pre-recorded. But anyway, uh, if you tap this little uh, red thing, recording button, it'll bring up this actual thing that I'm holding right now. So if you click this, uh, that uh, big red square would be replaced with a little camera thing. You click on it and it starts the recording. But if you hit settings, it can bring you to this. So this is um, how transparent this little thingy is. Uh, smooth recording. The quality, uh, I have it set on high just so that the like uh, I get the HD in the recordings. The frames per second, um, set it at the max, um, record audio, so that you can hear what I'm saying, and gesture recording. But that doesn't really work, because it just kind of shows this little white circle. So I don't use it. But that's it. So now we're going to move on to the editing. So I'll be right back. Guys, I'm back. So now, as you can see... We are on the computer. So now what we're going to do is first you're going to want to install this app called Wondershare Video Editor. So as you can see down here there's all sorts of videos. First of all you're going to want your video on your computer. First of all you just have to hook up some sort of cable from your computer to your uh, tablet or whatever you're putting with. Then you want to come Click on files, open this all the way just so that it's seeable. So I'm gonna wanna find it now. So I'll be right back once I find it. Alright, I'm back. So um so we're just going to take one of these videos. Let's say we use this one. Now what we can do is just double click on Windows Share Video Editor. And it will start opening just like this. So we're going to click on full feature mode. And it brings up this. So as you can see, there's tons of things like our intro. So we've got that. And basically, if you want to get videos into your Wondershare video editor, once you have it loaded onto your computer, you just pick it up and drag it in. And there it is. So this is our most part of our most recent video. The uh, Super Mario 3D Land. So what we can basically just do is so we can just drag in whatever videos we want. So we can drag in our ending also. And so there, we've got ourselves a video. But if you can also add other things. So if you just come down here, you can move this little thing around. You can turn it apart the video you add. You can add things like text. So you know there's always text appearing on the screen. Screen. You can just grab text, put it down here and drop it wherever you want. And you can just hit edit. Use some sort of keyboard and just type in whatever you want and you can drag it around. And that's how you do text. You can add effects. So as you can add chocolate. I haven't actually played around with a lot of these, so. 
Okay, and that's probably why I've never played around with any of these. Uh, PIP is basically just sort of this. I am going to be sort of as this. Transitions, you probably know this. So I use this one very often. So you can just drag it to any cuts in the video. And it just sort of does that and, uh, no. If you want to delete something, you just have to click on it and hit delete. So now that's done. Our intro slash credit. Uh, I don't use these because, you know, I have my intro and stuff. Sound, this adds just sort of like special sound effects. Like that. And split screen something really cool that I've never really used much because of uh, oh, it's, it's why. Because I've never really had two videos to put in. All this confusing thingies over here. I've never really used either. So uh, that's how I usually edit my videos. So if you were wondering how I did this sauce stuff, that's how I do it. And if you have any questions, uh, just leave it in the, in the comment below. And also the final thing that you will need to know about this is this little big blue button down here. It says export. Just click on that. You can just um, type in whatever name she will call this. How to make vid. How to make a video. And you can just simply export it. But uh, when you're making HD stuff, this does take a long time. So you'll see it's, it's taking forever. So I'm just going to not export that, because it's only been needed anyway. Uh, I do not need to save the changes. So that's it for this video. So uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. So this was 10 Dick Scene showing you how to make how I make my videos. So bye.